So uh, what we're going to be doing today is we will be cutting some slabs, uh, some small slabs off this laced agate. I have uh, one right here. This is what it looks like. It's not too wet. There you go. With some quartz on there. Um, and then this piece right here is completely rough. Um, some of you guys may know where this material is from. Uh, if you know, let me know down in the comments. I'm not going to say any of the types of agate that I'm cutting. I'm just going to let you guys guess it down in the comment section. The other piece is uh, this one right here. This one I'm just going to cut directly through the center. And then this one right here. This one has been in quite a few videos on this channel and the Rockhound podcast. Um, so we're going to cut this little tip off today and cut a couple slabs from, uh, from that. So let's go ahead and start cutting. We're, we will be using the uh, High Tech Diamond 6 inch slab saw with a thin centered diamond blade. Um, so uh, let's uh, start, start it up. Let's go ahead and start with this piece right here. Okay guys, so earlier we cut up four different types of agate and uh, there's a moth in the water. Um, and uh, now we're just going to take a look and see what they look like. 
because um, I only showed you um, the middle of the stone whenever I cut it open and then off camera I went ahead and cut some slabs out of it because we're going to be doing multiple videos um, um, with these slabs um, in the coming weeks so uh, let's go ahead and start off with these two right here and also in the top left corner uh, over here there should be a number in the screen so that you guys know um, what number these stones are so you can try and guess the uh, name these go by and uh, just a fun game to play I will say one hint there is another channel um, here on YouTube that provided some of this material um, so um, yeah <laughs> but uh, here is number one I love the laces the colors and then also the little detroital action that you see going on right here I actually think the this side will be a nice face for a cabochon and then probably go with this side as a cabochon but uh, yeah these are both very beautiful um, little slabs so the next one we're gonna go with these three and let's see if you guys I now this lace is also extremely beautiful and pretty like close to like the uh, uh, to the others um, as far as like patterns and um, so um, but this one is very beautiful I believe most of the quartz up here has been iron stained I've thought about putting it in iron out but I think I'm gonna leave it as is because I really like the color pattern and uh, just like the overall tone of them very beautiful this one kind of fractured a little bit when I was cutting it but um, the other side is this there's a natural look in the inside this stuff is so beautiful and I'm gonna have to get some more of this um, sometime later this year or yeah and then a smaller piece I went ahead and put this on the flat lap just to even out and get a nice uh, smooth surface so that way the colors and detail all pop so this one right here is number two and number three we'll do this one this stuff right here I love the colors in this one I, I like deep reds blues and greens uh, probably like the the most color like the the colors that draw me uh, to the stone the, the most and these all these deep reds are just like eye popping amazing and this one will be the face of one capuchon. I like that little druzy pocket right there. Super cool. This stuff looks like almost almost looks like lava. Like a picture scene of lava. Super cool. This one's a smaller piece. And then the last one is this one. And this will be the uh, face of this cabochon whenever I'm done with it. There's another nice little druzy pocket right there, but it's kind of uh, it's not opened up, so you can't see the druziness. But still, very beautiful, very cool. So this one right here is number three, and the final one is this one right here. So let's see if I can get how this was when I cut it open that was there I think this was over there it was something like that but anyways let's get looking at those colors and laces again I think this was heavily uh, stained by iron um, but look at that that is just so beautiful. And this will be the face of this one. And look 
look at that. It's just mind blowing beautiful. Looks like you get some more laces up here on top of the quartz. So cool. And I think I uh, put both sides on the flat lap, but I think this is going to be the face. It'll be either one or I'm going to cut it in half and it'll be two cabochons. And then there is this one. So, yeah, all this is so beautiful. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please leave a comment down below. Let me know which is your favorite and if you can guess the name of the material. Um, and uh, if you uh, are on social media, share this with your friends and family over there. It'll deeply, I will deeply appreciate it and it'll help the channel grow. And uh, we're trying to reach 5,000 subscribers. I think we're just about to hit 3,000, which I was thinking about doing a Q&A. So if you guys have any questions for me for the Q&A, make sure to leave that down in the comments. And I'll add that to the list once that comes up. And uh, I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Rock on. Find some cool rocks. If you have not checked out the Rock Hound Podcast YouTube channel, highly recommend go over there and check it out. Link will be in the description. And I will see you guys next time. Rock on.